Welcome everybody to another game of Squirrels Baseball. I am Aaron and we are hosting the Reds again today. Middle game of a three game set. And then as I've mentioned yesterday, after this we'll be done with the Reds until the last two days of the season. Had a bit of a tight game yesterday, which wasn't a surprise, because Aaron Harang has always pitched us well, even if his record doesn't suggest that. But he always gives the Reds a chance to win, whether or not their bats back him up or not. As the Squirrels take the field, we have our normal defensive lineup. So we don't have another off day until the All-Star break, so be seeing a lot of the normal guys. In the month of July, Polly, our knuckleballer, will be starting today. Technically, throws a knuckle curve, mostly because I didn't see the regular knuckleball option when I was creating him, but is what it is now. Norris Hopper in at the plate for the Reds, and he takes strike one and then takes strike two. Quickly down 0 oh, and 2. And he takes a ball, has yet to swing the bat, does so there, but comes up empty. One down, Xiao at the plate. I don't have Xiao's number against us. I feel like he's done pretty well, though, at the plate against us. One of the few Reds who can probably say that. He fouls the first pitch off. Swings and misses. Makes it 0-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two up, two strikeouts so far. Derek Lee at the plate. And he takes strike one. Swings and misses to make it 0-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Polly strikes out the side to start off the game. We go into the bottom of the first. Kester will lead off for the Squirrels. So we take a look at the Reds' defensive lineup, which looks like the normal lineup we've had. Jordan Tata will start off for the Reds. First pitch off the plate. Second pitch off the plate the other way. Line, or lines grounds out to second base for the first out brings Marvin to the plate batting left-handed average sitting at 197 today and he's quickly down 0 and 2 fouls that one away puts this one up the middle for a base hit I don't think that will be enough to put him over 200 again, but it certainly won't hurt. Chief now at the plate. One on, one out. Takes strike one and hits this one into right field. That could be dangerous. Going to roll into the corner. Marvin going to third. He will stop there. One out double for Chief. Puts runners on second and third. Brings Terry to the plate as he takes strike one. So this team just doesn't hit a lot of home runs. I'm sure playing in this park doesn't help, but Terry is our leading home run hitter. Doesn't hit a home run here, but does get a single into right, and that scores Marvin for the first run of the game. One to nothing squirrels brings Frank to the plate. Still only one out, and he has a one and one count. And that pitch off the plate. gets this one into left but it's going to hook foul two and two the count hits this one down the first baseline Derek Lee makes a diving play and he lands on first base to get the out at first but that is the only out the Reds will get puts runners on second and third with two outs Tom at the plate and he hits one to Kennedy at short and he throws it over to end the inning 
Squirrels only cut them away with one run, which could have been a much worse inning for the Reds than it was. But the Reds do find themselves down one to nothing going into the second inning. Adam Dunn due up in the top of the second. And first pitch called a strike. Second pitch too high. Fouls that one away. One and two to count. Looks at strike three. Four up, four strikeouts so far for Polly. Encarnacion at the plate. He takes a strike. And that pitch inside, probably high as well. That one fouled away, makes it one and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Five up, five strikeouts. Brings Brandon Phillips to the plate. He fouls the first pitch away. Looks at strike two. Swing and a miss. Pauly has struck out the first six reds of the game. We'll go into the bottom of the second. Zach do up for the squirrels. And he smacks the first pitch up the middle for a base hit. Shao takes a weird route to the ball, but does keep Zach at a single. So leadoff hit for Zach brings Joey to the plate. And that pitch gets away from David Ross. Didn't look particularly wild. I don't know if they just got crossed up there, but it allows Zach to go to second. And Joey's going to put the ball into left field for a base hit. Zach will have to stop at third to put runners on the corners. Nobody out. Polly at the plate. Looks like he's going to swing. Well, he watches the first pitch go by. This one, he's going to put into left field for a base hit. Two to nothing, Squirrels now. Runners on first and second, and still nobody retired. Kester back up at the plate, and he almost gets hit by the pitch. And Kester's going to put one into left field. Here comes Joey in to score, and he does make it before the throw. Three to nothing. Oh, Marvin's average right at 200 after that hit his first time up. Still nobody retired in this inning as he looks at strike one and then strike two. Swing and a miss, strike three. There is the first out of the inning. Chief at the plate now, still two on, one out. And that pitch out of the zone. And that pitch too high. Two and oh the count. 3-0 the count. Chief taking all the way. 3-1. Takes again. We now have a full count. And that one in the dirt. Ball four. Base is now loaded for Terry. Only one out. And he swings and misses at the first pitch. And that pitch too high. And that pitch too low. Two and one the count. Terry grounds that one foul to make it two and two. And he gets a hold of this one, and it's going to get into right field. One run in. Two runs in. Five to nothing. Squirrels already. Still only one out. Runners on first and second. Frank takes ball one. Takes ball two. Frank finally grounds to short. One out, two outs. That will end the inning, but not before the Squirrels put up a four spot in the second inning to make it five to nothing. We go into the third inning. Kennedy will lead off for the Reds. The Reds still have yet to put a ball in play. And Kennedy takes strike one. Take strike two. And there's your first non-strikeout victim, and it's actually going to turn into a hit for Kennedy. 
So not only does he not strike out, he actually gets a hit up the middle just out of Kester's reach. I actually thought that was going to be fairly routine off the bat, but instead the Reds finally with a base runner. David Ross at the plate with a 1-1 one and one count. Make that 2-1. and one. Oh, that knuckleball gets away, gets Kennedy to second. Suddenly the Reds may be threatening to score with a runner in scoring position and nobody out. Although Ross swings and misses to get a full count at the plate. And there's a more solid base hit. Here comes Kennedy in to score. Joey throws home, but not in time. 5-1 to one now, Squirrels. RBI single for David Ross brings Tata to the plate as he takes a strike. Pops this one up to third. Chief waits under it, and there are... Well, actually, I guess that's the first out of the inning. Norris Hopper now at the plate. Take strike one. Take strike two. Hits this one into left field. So Polly, after striking out the first six batters of the game, is now looking very vulnerable. Runners on first and second, only one out. Shaw at the plate. One run already in for the Reds. Shaw with a one and one count. Swings and misses to make it one and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Derek Lee now at the plate to try to keep the inning going for the Reds. And he puts it in the left, and that is going to get down for a base hit. And another run in, so the Reds not going down quietly after digging a pretty big hole. Now it's 5-2, to two. Squirrel still in front. Adam Dunn at the plate with runners on the corners. So he takes strike one, and then ball one. Pops this one foul to make it one and two. Ooh, just off the plate. Makes it two and two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And there's the inning. Gotta get up just real quick. Be right back. Okay. Sorry about that. Missed the last two batters. Um, hopefully you guys saw what happened. Joey at the plate as he takes strike one with two outs. Swings and misses to make it 0-2. That one too low. And Joey's going to put this one into center field for a base hit. That'll bring Polly to the plate. He had an RBI single his last time up. Take strike one. Puts this one to second base. Phillips to first, and that will end the third inning. As we move into the fourth, Reds two, Squirrels five. Incarnacion will lead off the top of the inning. First pitch called a strike. Second pitch called a strike. And a pitch off the plate. One and two the count. And Carnacion not wanting to chase anything. Still has yet to swing the bat. Has a two and two count now. That one too high. Full count now. Looks at strike three right down the middle. One down, Brandon Phillips at the plate. And he like took, oh, <laughs> got caught between words there. He takes a strike. 
Swing and a miss, strike two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Brings Kennedy to the plate. He was the first hit for the Reds. Kick started a two-run inning. Pops this one back up right back to Polly as he takes a couple steps off the mound, grabs the ball, and that will end the top of the fourth. In the bottom half of the inning, Kester will lead off to the Squirrels, leading 5-2. to two. Kester one for two today. Got a single his last time up. Looks at strike one. Hits this one right to Kennedy. Throws it over for the first out. Marvin, whose average was at 200, but that last strikeout puts him back to 199. Takes ball one. Takes ball two. Hits this one right to second base. Phillips takes it on a bit of a short hop and throws it over for the second out of the inning. Brings Chief to the plate. He has doubled and walked so far today. Hits this one up the middle, and it will get through for a base hit. So I think it's safe to say Chief is out of his slump. He has been a very strong hitter the last several games now. Terry, two for two today. Takes a ball. Takes another ball. Takes another ball. 3-0 and oh the count. Takes that one all the way, and it is called a strike. That curveball also called a strike. Chief takes off on the full count. Terry swings and misses, and that will end the fourth inning. We move into the fifth. David Ross due up for the Reds. Your score, still Cincinnati 2, Indianapolis 5. David Ross drove in the first run of the game with a single, well, first Reds run of the game, I should say, with a single his last time up. Has a 2-0 count to start this at-bat. That knuckleball catches the corner, 2-1. Swing and a miss makes it 2-2. Two Hits this one to short. Joey ranges slightly over and grabs it for the first out of the inning. Tata popped out his first time up. So he takes a strike. Takes strike two. And that one inside. One and two. Grounds this one to first. Terry picks it up, runs it over, and there are two outs in the inning. Hopper at the plate now. He is one for two with a strikeout and a single. Pops this one towards third. Chief goes over, and he is able to make the play in foul ground. Halfway through the game, Reds two, Squirrels five. Frank leads off in the bottom half of the fifth. And Frank takes strike one. Puts this one into center field. Chow going back, and he is able to make the play. Which had range back a little farther than I thought he would, but he is able to get the first out of the inning. Brings Tom to the plate as he takes strike one. And that one too high. Tom puts this one through the hole on the right side for a single. Bring Zach to the plate. He is singled and ground out today. He takes ball one and then strike one. And this is going to be a base hit into center field. Tom going for third. Throw from Kennedy not in time. Runners on the corners for Joey. And he takes strike one. I think Joey has already gotten a hit today. That extends his hitting streak to 16 games. Has a 1 and 2 count. Make it a 2 and 2 count. Tata already tiring. As he strikes out Joey looking. Polly in his last at bat of the day. Runners on the corner still. Two outs. 
Take strike one, swings and misses for strike two. And fouls that pitch away. Still 0 and 2. Grounds this one to Phillips, who throws it over, and that will end the fifth inning. Still 5 to 2 squirrels as we go into the sixth inning. Shaw will lead things off for Cincinnati. Shaw 0 for 2 today with two strikeouts after I was just singing his praises earlier in the game. Pops this one foul. Tom does not make the play. Needed another step or two. Swings and misses at that one to make it an 0-2 count. And looks at strike three. I think he was waiting on that ball to break, and then it never did. One down for Derek Lee. He has had a hit today. Like I said, he's had some very un-Derek Lee-like numbers this season. Apparently Cincinnati just not agreeing with him. He has an 0-2 count after fouling that last pitch off. Fouls another one away. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down now, Adam Dunn. Should be less surprising that he is 0 for 2 with two strikeouts, although by his numbers, Adam Dunn probably should be an all-star. He gets this one into center field. That's going to be well over Marvin's head as he one-hops the wall. So that's a double for Adam Dunn to dead center. Actually, now that I say that, I think they might release another round of NL All-Star voting after this game. So if they do that, check out the recap. I'll try to see if uh, Adam Dunn is on the outfielder's list. Synchronacion fouls that one away. Our only position All-Star is Tom, who is leading the catcher's balloting right now, although that is close. Encarnacion comes up with the hit. Frank goes home, but it's not going to be in time. So the Reds score again to make it 5-3. to three. Keep chipping away. Polly, you can see his condition was in the purple today, which is not great. And it has shown. Brings Brandon Phillips to the plate. Runner on second and two outs. So he swings and misses at the first pitch. Swings and misses at the second pitch to make it 0-2. Fouls that pitch away. That one up and out. Phillips doesn't go chasing it. Pops this one up. Joey under it. And that'll end the top of the sixth, and that'll end Polly's day. Six innings pitch, six hits, three runs. In the bottom half of the sixth inning, Kester's going to lead things off for the Squirrels. Tata still out there, though he is laboring at this point. First pitch inside. This one ground to Kennedy. He gets it over for the first out of the inning. Brings Marvin to the plate. He's one for three today. That pitch too high. That pitch called a strike. Swing and a miss. One and two. Marvin up the middle for another base hit. That should put him over 200 next time he comes up to the plate. And that will end Tata's day. Ibar is going to come in to try to finish off the sixth inning. Chief is at the plate. He's two for two today with a double, a single, and a walk. Not in that order, necessarily. And Ivar's first pitch is out of the zone. Second pitch swung on and missed. Swing and a miss again, one and two. Chief finally retired on a strikeout swinging. Two down now, Terry up at the plate. He singled twice and struck out, and that one was in order. Take strike one here, take strike two. 
gets a hold of this one. I think this is home run number nine, and it is. A 439-foot shot for a two-run homer. Out into right field. Game now 7-3 Squirrels. Right when it seemed like the Reds might be mounting a comeback, Terry pushes it back up to a four-run game. That'll bring Frank to the plate. The base is now clear. Two outs, and he looks at strike one. Swings and misses, 0-2. And Swing and a miss, strike three. That ends the sixth inning, but Terry puts the game out of save contention again. We go into the seventh inning. Kennedy's going to lead off for the Reds. Nakai will come into Frank's spot, and we'll get Quentin back into the game. I guess that makes a little bit of sense as Frank got his off day cut short when Quentin hurt himself on a slide the other day. Although Quentin was ultimately okay. He came out of that game, but with the off day, he was fine the next game. Anyway, Kennedy at the plate against Nakai. Nakai's first pitch is inside. Gets Kennedy to swing and miss at a changeup. Swings and misses at a fastball, one and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. One down, David Ross at the plate. He's one for two today. He takes strike one. Pops this one foul. Out of Tom's reach. 0 and 2 the count. Grounds this one to Terry, who grabs it and steps on first. Two down. Ibar is going to hit for himself. He did just come into the game. I don't necessarily blame the Reds, but they do have some room to go. I would have pinch hit, but it's not up to me. Ibar quickly down 0 2, and he looks at strike three, and that will end the top of the seventh. It's stretch time in Indianapolis. Reds 3, Squirrels 7. We are in the bottom of the seventh. Tom is going to lead off the inning against Ibar. That first pitch too low. Swing and a miss makes it one and one. Fouls that one away to make it one and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. One down, Zach at the plate. He's two for three today with a pair of singles. So he takes a strike. Swing and a miss, strike two. Zach puts this into left field. That will go off the wall right at the base. This is a big ballpark, but right down the lines is not unreasonable. 338 is... Deep and not that deep down the line. So I would not say Zach was robbed of a home run there. But it does go down as a one out double and brings Joey to the plate as he pops this one up in foul ground. David Ross waits for it and makes the play. Two down, Quinton up at the plate. His first at bat of the day as he takes strike one. Two and one the count. That went off the plate. Three and one. 
Swing and a miss makes it a full count, two outs. Runner on second, so Zach does stay put as Quinton just looks at strike three. We go into the eighth inning, Reds three, Squirrels seven. Hopper due up for the Reds in the top of the eighth. And since it is a four-run lead, Nikai will go ahead and pitch this inning. As Hopper takes strike one. That pitch down and out. Hits that curve ball right to Kester, who throws it over for the first out of the inning. Brings Shaw to the plate. He is 0 for 3 with three strikeouts today. Apparently uh, my kind words were too much for him. Does get this one into play, and that's going to be a base hit. See, I say nice things, he strikes out, I mock him, and he gets a hit. Derek Lee now at the plate. He's gotten a hit today, which is a rarity for him this year. And he is quickly down 0-2 in this at-bat. Looks at strike three. Two down, runner on first. Adam Dunn at the plate, who had a deep double his last time up. Looks at ball one and then looks at strike one. Fouls that pitch away to make it one and two. Just inside, two and two the count. Swing and a miss, strike three, and that's it for the Reds' half of the eighth. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth, still seven to three, Squirrels. Kester's going to lead things off for Indy. Kester, one for four so far today. Nybar already getting tired, though I'm sure the Reds would rather not use another arm if they don't have to. Kester with an 0-2 count. And he swings and misses to strike out. Brings Marvin to the plate, hitting 201 after his last at-bat. And another base hit for Marvin. Really padding those stats today. That's his third hit of the day. Chief was finally retired his last time up with a strikeout as he takes strike one here. And that pitch out of the zone. Hits this one up the middle. Another single for Chief. Puts runners on first and second and brings Terry to the plate. Hit his ninth home run of the year his last time up. As he takes ball one. Takes ball two. Maybe a generous corner there to make it two and one. Three and one now. Looks looks like it'll be Ibar's last batter. Terry pops it up to third. Infield fly is called. And yeah, it is Nakai's spot in the order. Cordero is going to come into the game and he will face Sweeney when I get a chance to make a pinch hitter. All right, so Cordero will face Sweeney. Runners on first and second. Two outs in the inning. And Cordero starts with a strike. That one just off the plate. One and one. That one in the dirt. Two and one. Sweeney swings and misses. Two and two. Hits this one to the right side, and it does get down for a base hit. Another run in makes it 8-3, to three, Squirrels. Puts runners on the corners and Tom at the plate. And Tom flies it in the left. Dunn is coming in, but he's not going to make it. Another run in makes it 9-3. to three. And puts Zach at the plate now. Runners on the corners with two outs. A six-run Squirrels lead so far. Zach takes strike one. Hits this one to Incarnacion. He throws it over, and that will finally end the inning. But not before the Squirrels tack on two more. Reds three, Squirrels nine as we go into the ninth inning. And we'll let Zap clean things up. And we'll let Sweeney try play right. Why not?
All right, Zap on the mound, Encarnacion at the plate. He has struck out twice and doubled. Swings and misses at the first pitch here. That pitch just off the plate, one and one. Right, that one in the dirt, two and one the count. That one called a strike up in the zone, two and two. This one hits sharply. Chief makes a diving stop, gets it over. Great play by Chief. That one deserves a replay. I thought that one was a hit for sure, but Chief makes the diving play and is able to make the throw to get Encarnacion out by a step. Brings Phillips to the plate. He's 0 for 3 today with a couple strikeouts and a flyout. I don't remember where his flyout was to. Might have been more of a pop-out. I honestly don't remember. Swings and misses. Makes the count 0-2. Gets this one into left field. Quinton goes back and makes the play. Two down. Up to Kennedy to try to extend the game. First pitch a strike. Second pitch a strike. Zap winds and delivers a pitch in the dirt. One and two the count. Kennedy grounds to third. Chief grabs that one, throws it over, and that is your ball game. It looked for a minute like it might be a close one, but then uh, we just kept going. Your final score today, Cincinnati Reds 3, Indianapolis Squirrels 9. We will look at a few highlights here. All right, Terry, your player of the game. It says for knocking in the winning run, but I think it's more for his home run. So thank you, everybody, for watching. We will wrap up with the Reds tomorrow. If you'd like to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, feel free. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow.